Ever felt uncomfortable after a meal, dealing with bloating, gas, or constipation? You're not alone, and it can be frustrating trying to find relief when nothing seems to work. Bloating, gas, and constipation are more than just uncomfortable symptoms. They can be signs of an underlying issue that needs to be addressed. When we're not comfortable in our own bodies, it can affect our mood, energy levels, and overall well-being. It's time to take control of our digestive health and start feeling like ourselves again. The good news is that there are many natural and effective ways to alleviate these symptoms and start feeling better fast. By making a few simple changes to our daily habits and routines, we can start to see improvements in our digestive health and overall comfort. So, if you're tired of feeling bloated, gassy, and constipated, and you're ready to take back control of your digestive health, then keep watching. Today, we're going to dive into the common challenges people face with these issues and explore some effective tips and strategies to help you feel better fast. Many of us have experienced the discomfort and frustration of bloating, gas, and constipation at some point in our lives. Whether it's the feeling of being stuck, the embarrassment of passing gas, or the discomfort of constant bloating, these symptoms can be debilitating and affect our daily lives. But what causes these issues in the first place? Is it something we're eating, not eating enough? A medical condition? The truth is, there can be many underlying causes of bloating, gas, and constipation, from food intolerances to hormonal imbalances. One of the main challenges people face is figuring out what's causing their symptoms in the first place. Is it the gluten in bread, the lactose in milk, or something else entirely? Without a clear understanding of what's causing our symptoms, it can be hard to know where to start when it comes to finding relief. Another challenge people face is the lack of effective solutions. We've all tried the over-the-counter medications, the fancy supplements, and the quick fixes, but they often don't provide the long-term relief we're looking for. And then there's the emotional toll of living with bloating, gas, and constipation. The anxiety of not knowing when symptoms will strike. The embarrassment of having an accident in public. The frustration of feeling stuck and unable to find relief. But despite these challenges, there is hope. By understanding the underlying causes of our symptoms and making a few simple changes to our daily habits and routines, we can start to see improvements in our digestive health and overall comfort. To address this issue effectively, it is essential to consider both immediate relief strategies and long-term lifestyle adjustments. Immediate relief can often be achieved through various methods. Engaging in light physical activity, such as walking or stretching, can stimulate digestion and help release trapped gas. Gentle yoga poses, like the wind relieving pose, can also be beneficial. Additionally, herbal teas, particularly peppermint, ginger, and chamomile, are known for their anti-bloating properties, as they can relax the digestive muscles and reduce inflammation. Medications may provide temporary relief as well. Antacids can alleviate bloating caused by excess stomach acid, while simethicone helps break down gas bubbles in the digestive tract. For individuals with lactose intolerance or other food sensitivities, taking lactase supplements or avoiding trigger foods can significantly reduce bloating episodes. In the long term, dietary modifications play a crucial role in managing bloating. Keeping a food diary can help identify specific foods that trigger symptoms. Common culprits include high FODMAP foods like beans, certain fruits, e.g. apples and pears, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage, and carbonated beverages. Adopting a low FODMAP diet may be beneficial for those with persistent bloating. Mindful eating practices are also important. Eating slowly and chewing food thoroughly can prevent swallowing excess air and reduce the likelihood of overeating, both of which contribute to bloating. Staying hydrated by drinking plenty of water aids digestion and helps prevent constipation, a condition that can exacerbate bloating. How leaky gut can cause bloating and gas. Leaky gut can be a hidden cause behind chronic bloating and gas. When the lining of the intestines becomes compromised, it allows larger, undigested particles like food and toxins to pass into the bloodstream, triggering an immune response. This immune reaction often leads to inflammation in the gut and can cause digestive issues such as bloating, gas, and discomfort. Several dietary factors have been linked to the development of leaky gut, each playing a unique role in weakening the gut barrier and triggering digestive problems. Gluten is one of the most well-known contributors to leaky gut. Found in wheat, barley, and rye, 
Gluten can cause irritation in the gut lining, especially for individuals with gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. Even in people without celiac, gluten can promote the release of a protein called zonulin, which opens the tight junctions between the cells of the gut lining, leading to increased permeability. Foods like bread, pasta, and baked goods made from refined wheat are common sources of gluten that may aggravate leaky gut and contribute to bloating. Moreover, leaky gut may also impair nutrient absorption. When the intestinal barrier is compromised, essential nutrients may not be adequately absorbed, leading to deficiencies that can further exacerbate gastrointestinal symptoms like bloating and discomfort. Sugar is another key player in gut health deterioration. High sugar intake feeds harmful bacteria in the gut, leading to an imbalance in the microbiome. This imbalance, called dysbiosis, can weaken the gut lining and promote inflammation. Over time, consuming large amounts of sugar, particularly from sources like soda, candy, pastries, and processed snacks, can erode the intestinal barrier, making the digestive system more prone to bloating and gas as gut bacteria ferment undigested sugars. Even fiber, which is generally considered beneficial for digestion, can contribute to bloating and leaky gut in excess or in the wrong form. Insoluble fiber, which is found in foods like whole grains, bran, and certain vegetables, is harder to digest and can irritate the gut lining, particularly in sensitive individuals. While fiber helps with digestion by promoting regular bowel movements, too much of it, especially from processed sources like fiber-fortified cereals, can worsen leaky gut by causing excess fermentation in the gut, leading to gas production and bloating. Lectines, naturally occurring proteins found in foods like legumes, peanuts, and nightshade vegetables, such as tomatoes and eggplants, are another cause of leaky gut. Lectins can bind to the gut lining and interfere with the tight junctions between cells, leading to increased permeability. Over time, a diet high in lectins may contribute to inflammation in the gut and exacerbate symptoms like gas and bloating. Lentils, soybeans, and chickpeas are examples of lectin-rich foods that may cause issues for those with sensitive guts. Seed oils, such as canola, soybean, and corn oil, are commonly used in processed foods and are high in omega-6 fatty acids. While omega-6s are essential for health in small amounts, excessive intake can promote inflammation throughout the body, including in the gut. Consuming a diet rich in seed oils can contribute to a pro-inflammatory state that weakens the gut lining and makes the digestive system more vulnerable to leaky gut, bloating, and gas. A lack of digestive enzymes and stomach acid can also contribute to leaky gut and bloating. When the body doesn't produce enough stomach acid or enzymes to properly break down food, undigested particles pass into the intestines where they can irritate the gut lining and contribute to increased permeability. This can also lead to fermentation of food by gut bacteria, producing gas and causing bloating. Certain conditions, like hypochlorhydria, low stomach acid, can exacerbate this issue, making it difficult to digest proteins and triggering digestive symptoms. Lastly, poor sleep can have a significant impact on gut health. Chronic sleep deprivation disrupts the circadian rhythm, which regulates many bodily functions, including digestion. Lack of sleep can weaken the gut barrier lead to increased inflammation, and affect the balance of gut bacteria. Over time, this can contribute to the development of leaky gut and digestive symptoms like bloating and gas. Sleep is essential for the body's repair processes, and when it's compromised, the gut lining doesn't have the opportunity to heal properly. If bloating persists despite these measures, it's worth considering if food intolerances, such as lactose or gluten, are involved. Remember, taking control of our digestive health is key to overall comfort and well-being. By making a few simple changes to our daily habits and routines, we can start to see improvements in our health and feel like ourselves again. You can also check out my other video that talks about four steps to get good bacteria and improve gut microbiome. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences below in the comments below and like this video. Remember to turn on the notification bell.